Again, we're back to my hosting duties here with new offensive coordinator Jed Fisher. How you doing, Coach? Doing great, thank you. It's good to be here. We have a first question comment from Go Canes. How has your transition to Miami been? Oh, it's been great. It's uh, obviously to be a part of the Canes Nation, a part of the family here is uh, outstanding. Uh, moving down here is it's a beautiful place to live. The last few places I've lived in Minnesota and Seattle uh, don't really compare to uh, living down here in Miami, Florida. And uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time to be here. The transition's gone great. Comment from Derek. Hey, Jed, what's the top priority for you coming in as the new OC? Well, Derek, uh, the first thing is obviously to figure out our personnel and to determine uh, what we can do and uh, what we do best. And then once we make, uh, we make that decision, then it's obviously uh, being able to move the football and find a way to score points. Comment from Chad, what surprised you the most when you stepped foot on campus? Well, Chad, I, I think what surprised me uh, the most was how the campus feels uh, very, very much at home. That you, it's not a very large campus, it's not an overwhelming campus. It's a campus where uh, it's in a beautiful setting. I didn't realize that the University of Miami was where it was. And the idea of being able to jog the campus in 30 minutes and be able to be able to walk through campus and kind of get anywhere you want to be at any time real quick, uh, it re that really surprised me the most. Comment from all about the U. Coach, which running back is most versatile? Well, we haven't practiced yet, so it's hard to necessarily talk about exactly uh, our personnel and who's going to fit what role for us and who's the most versatile and who's the pounded in there guy and who's the third down back and who's the every down back. So right now we're trying to go through um, our roster and go through um, all of the personnel that we have on, on, on the team right now and then from there make the decision once we start practicing. Comment from Mr. Miami H. Coach Fish, are we going to see the tight end used more in the offense this season? Uh, Mr. Miami H, uh, yes, uh, we will uh, for two reasons. One, our head coach is a former tight end, so that'll certainly be a big point of emphasis from him. Two, I think it gives you a great opportunity to be versatile. It gives you an opportunity to keep the uh, defenses on their heels and it'll give us an opportunity to really take advantage of matchups. We've got a, a large tight end room. We've got six or seven tight ends right now currently on the team. And uh, we're, we're really excited to be able to use them in all different ways. Comment from Category 5. Jed, what appears to be you right now, the strength of the offense? I think it would be, uh, I'd be remiss to say if it were not the offensive line. The offensive line is definitely right now the strength of our team in terms of they're all together, they're all back. Um, what we saw in film was uh, really, really tremendous so far on offense from last year to this year. Uh, and we're really excited as we watched them, uh, the game film from last season, what our offensive line could do. We've got a young group. We've got a bunch of uh, award winners already. And uh, we're really looking forward to working with that offensive line and, and making them really the foundation of our program. Comment from Corey Moore. How long will the quarterback position be up for grabs? Well, Corey, that, that, that's a great question. Right now, uh, what we're doing is, like every position, we're, we're encouraging everybody to compete. And we're encouraging the competition um, to go every day for all three quarterbacks that we have right now on the roster to do everything they can to win a starting role. And we're looking forward to watching practice and seeing how the, how the process goes. Obviously, when we get to a point where it's time to make the decision, and we'll know. We'll know when, it, when the decision's ready to make. That's when we'll make it, and uh, we'll probably announce a starter at that time. But right now, we're just really excited to watch everybody compete for a job. Comment from Nikki Boy. Which NFL offense will we most resemble? That's a great question. Uh, I think that we'll try to we'll, – we'll do a lot of what we did in Denver in 2008 when I was with the Denver Broncos, and then uh, a lot of, uh, you know, the – the ideas of different teams that, uh, that I've been with throughout the way. Uh, Seattle this past season, Baltimore for four years prior to that. We did a great job running the football in Baltimore. We did a great job throwing the football in Denver. We were a little more balanced um, in Seattle. And uh, I think we're going to be a mixture of those three along with taking advantage of some of the things that they've done here at, at the U. 
and recognizing the fact that they were the number one offense in the ACC last year and uh, try to build off of that. Comment from Chris. What are you taking away the most from your time in Seattle? Well, Chris, uh, I really, my experiences with Matt Hasselbeck is kind of what I've, I've taken away from the most. Uh, Matt was a veteran quarterback. He was 35 years old. He started in the league 13 years. He's been to uh, four Pro Bowls. He was a guy that really uh, helped me in my development. And what I learned from him is that uh, you need to make the position easy for the quarterback. You have to allow the quarterback to play fast. And you really have to allow the quarterback to understand where his checkdowns are and kind of give him a toolbox, so to speak, of answers, easy answers to hard questions. And uh, what we'll do is we'll try to coach our players the same way that uh, Matt coached me up. Comment from Allen. How much raw talent does Stephen Morris have? Well, Alan, uh, there's no question that Steven's a very talented player. He can make all the throws. He's got good size. He uh, moves well. Uh, he throws a very natural, uh, he has a very natural throwing motion, throws a very pretty ball. Uh, so, you know, he, he's got all the talent that, that you would need at that position. Now it's a matter of uh, him going out there every day, competing, making good decisions uh, with the football and understanding what, uh, what we're looking for at the quarterback position. <clears throat> Comment from Chad, are you a type of coach that will get in players' face if they make a mistake? Well, Chad, I think that obviously uh, there's times that that occurs. That's more of uh, a reaction than it is a planned action. Uh, but we're, what we're really looking to do is we're looking to coach our guys, teach our guys, encourage our guys, take a positive approach to everything we do. We encourage our coaches on offense that uh, it's not about confrontation, it's about carefrontation. And uh, we got to let our players know that we care about them and that obviously, however, we have to coach them, we'll coach them to get our point across. Comment from Christian Kane. Any Wildcat this year? Well, Christian, I think when you have the amount of athletes that we have here at the U, you do whatever you can to get as many of them on the field at the same time. So uh, I certainly would not say no to that question. Um, I think that we, the team that did the best Wildcat in the last uh, four years of the National Football League is right around the corner from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's obviously some great film on some of the things that they've done um, and that they've done successfully. And then... Throughout all college football, you have so many uh, players that have transitioned from the quarterback position where they played in high school to other skill positions that uh, we can utilize some of those. And maybe. Comment from James in Boise. How is your relationship with the rest of the coaches on offense? James, it's been outstanding. Uh, we've, we've never um, worked together as a, as a group, and uh, it's been really, really good. We've worked a lot of hours with one another. We've made sure that we were able to uh, get to know each other, both uh, in and out of the office over the course of the last month. And uh, we've all worked extremely well together. And I really look forward to uh, utilizing all of their expertise. Comment from Italian Kane. Any new favorite restaurants in the area? Uh, no, not yet. But um, if Italian Kane has any suggestions, I'm uh, really excited to get those because I'm, I'm looking for a good restaurant at all times. Just if you haven't been to go to Bagel Emporium. I have been there, and it's really good. It's great. Yeah. Comment from T Quick in plug. South Miami. Jed, can you comment on Frank Gore's NFL career? Can I comment on it? Uh, I know that any time that we've played the San Francisco 49ers, uh, we've been very concerned about Frank Gore. I know that uh, whenever we've had to be in a meeting room, a team meeting room, no matter if it was uh, Coach Billick in Baltimore or Coach Shanahan in Denver or uh, Coach Carroll, that we talked about Frank Gore and how we're going to take that away. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that Frank Gore has had to deal with over his college career is that they have not thrown the ball as well as they've run the ball in San Francisco. So they've had they've been able to defend that uh, the running game with an eight-man box. But uh, we we know, we know here that the, there's a lot of great running backs that have come through the University of Miami, and uh, we're hoping to continue to add to that. Comment from Vince: What do you like about Tate Forcier? Well, Vince, you know, one of the things that, about Tate is that uh, uh, he's an unbelievable playmaker. You know, he was one of the top recruits in the nation uh, coming out two years ago. He was somebody whom was uh, recruited and offered by program after program. 
And what he can do is he is one of the most accurate passers uh, there is. His percentage in high school over the course of being a three-year starter was 71% completion. His decision-making in terms of his touchdowns and interceptions were off the chart. And uh, he was able to come in and play in the big house at the University of Michigan as a true freshman and start all 12 games. And I think uh, if you look at some of the scores that they had, uh, the offense wasn't uh, the issue in a lot of those games that they didn't win. And uh, he did win uh, four of the first five games he started in as a true freshman. So we're uh, ecstatic to have Tate joining our team. Comment from Seahawk16. Jed, any chance you can send me that sweatshirt? I'd love it here in Seattle. <laughs> um, no, but uh, we, we are definitely uh, hoping that he can go buy one of these sweatshirts and uh, tell Seahawks 16 that we love the fact that we've got uh, Canes fans everywhere uh, in the country from the Pacific Northwest down to here. Comment from JRum89. Coach, what were your first impressions with Coach Kehoe? Uh, they were uh, outstanding. I knew that we had a very intense a uh, very knowledgeable, very passionate offensive line coach with a tremendous amount of experience, someone who understands the traditions of the U and can help us in uh, making sure that we understand them as well. I think we've got a great football coach that will coach effort and passion uh, first, and then also will do a tremendous job coaching technique. Comment from Miami One. What are you seeing in those early morning workouts? Well, Miami won. Uh, one of the things that uh, we look for is effort, and we look for finish, and we look for guys that never quit, and guys that uh, do a great job of listening to directions. It's not a, there, uh, there are no balls out there, so it's a matter of just watching the high energy and the uh, really kind of watching everyone's effort and seeing who are the guys that are our top effort players and understand what it means to win in the fourth quarter. Comment from JP, can you please run up the score on FSU if given the opportunity? <laughs> well, JP, I'll tell you this. I, I learned from a coach that I once worked with about 10 years ago that said it's not our job to stop us, it's their job to stop us. So uh, we'll continue to keep on scoring and let them try to stop us. Comment from number one, Kane. Will you be calling plays from the booth or field? I'll be calling from the field. I think it's the best opportunity to uh, talk to the quarterback to look at the whole offense, uh, to look in their eyes coming off the field, whether it be after a touchdown or after a not successful down, and uh, be able to uh, meet with them between series, make any adjustments needed, and then be able to send them back on the field. Comment from NC Kane. What is the playbook looking like at this point, and how much, how much of it have the players seen? Uh, that's, that's a great question, NC Kane. Uh, one of the things with the playbook is, we're right now in the process of uh, beginning to print it out for our players. We've done a, our coaches have done a tremendous job over the course of the last two to three weeks making sure that our playbook is right, is correct, is we've decided what we wanted to install. And we're prepared to give our players come um, uh, next week or so or whenever we start our meetings with our players a good chunk of the playbook and what we're going to be putting in formations, motions, and plays. Comment from Ohio Kane, what advice can you give to someone who wants to coach? Uh, well, the first thing I would say is work hard. And then as soon as you think you're working hard, work harder than that. And then uh, never give up on, you know, never give up on your dream of coaching. And make sure you, you find a way to always say uh, yes, sir, to the person you're working for. Uh, never turn down an opportunity. And uh, I think uh, the number one thing that I've always, uh, that I did when I started and still to this day is uh, there's no task uh, too big or too small. One last question for Coach. Any chance we run any option? Well, we'll uh, continue to look through all of that and uh, we'll continue to evaluate our players. And we obviously have some guys on staff that have coached in college football for a long time that have experience with it. But uh, that's not going to be our core. But uh, we always can uh, spring an option play on somebody at uh, any time. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the fans for your continued support and questions. And uh, hope to see you guys out here at spring practice. Okay, thank you.